the top 10 manga sales for 2013 thus far, the first half of the year, have been revealed. And this list is pretty shocking, I'm not going to lie. This list is definitely showing changes are coming. So let's start off at the bottom and work our way to number 1. Number 10 is a series I've never even heard of, to be honest with you. It's called Terra Formers, and that one got 1.721 million copies sold. Crazy, because I've never heard of this manga, to be honest with you, and I wouldn't mind checking it out just to see, you know, what all the hype is about. Coming in at top 10 and I never heard of you, that's a feat, so I really wouldn't mind checking it out. Coming in at number 9 is Fairy Tale. Without an anime, it is still in the top 10 manga sales. That one came in with 1.853 million copies sold. That is pretty awesome without an anime. Fairy Tale is still kicking, still hanging in there, so... Props to Fairy Tale for doing that. No more anime. It's still going strong with sales. So that's that's pretty dope. Uh, coming in at number eight is you probably never heard of this. Maybe you have. It's from the writer of Full Metal Alchemist. It's called Silver Spoons. It's not a battle manga, but it's still um, I guess her latest work or whatever. And that one came in at number eight with one point nine two six million copies sold. Um, she's doing something right again with this one. From what I've heard about the manga, it's kind of like a slice of life where some guys like on a farm or something so uh, I don't know how interesting it would be but apparently it's getting an anime so expect that number by the end of the year because this is the first half once the anime comes out by the end of the year those sales will probably double because the anime will push that manga people saying wait Full Metal Alchemist manga I want to check it out so by the end of the year, things might change with Silver Spoon. Coming in at number 7 is Assassination Classroom, which, to be honest with you, that is a big shocker because it's a brand new manga that came out, what, I believe, this year, maybe, end of last year. And for it to have done this much already, and it's not a battle manga, and it's from Jump, but it's not a battle manga, that's pretty shocking. I've read a bit of it. It's pretty decent, but to get 2.504 million copies... In this short amount of time, that is a big feat in and of itself. So uh, apparently they're doing something right with that. Although I, I kind of got an idea why it transcends with such big big numbers and why it's so, I guess, relatable to the kids in Japan. Because it's kind of based in school or whatever. And it kind of just shows the uh, hard, hardships that people in Japan, the kids especially, go through because of this whole idealism of you got to be the best student or whatever. And they mix it with some sci-fi stuff, so it makes it, you know, pretty relatable, I guess, for the kids of Japan. But shout out to Assassination Classroom. Now this next one, very shocking for the place it came in. You are going to be shocked as much as I was. Coming in at number six, Naruto. Naruto came in with... 2.860 million copies thus far this year. Now, mind you, it did only come out with two volumes this year, and the anime has been in filler, so people haven't really been that motivated. But, nonetheless, for Naruto to come in at number six, that really shows that, I guess maybe people in Japan are really just kind of getting older, and a lot of people are just not reading Naruto as much as they used to or something, because that is a steep decline from being always, you know, in the top three position. And that really just shows that in Japan... The big three, Naruto One Piece and Bleach, is no more. That one was a shocker, to be honest with you. Number six, Naruto, big shocker for Naruto only being number six. Coming in at number five, Hunter Hunter. Very shocking for Hunter Hunter to come in with 3.61, wait, 3.616 sales. That is a lot of sales for Hunter Hunter. For first of all, they didn't even put out a volume this year. They put out two volumes in December. So this is all based off the anime's hype. And the anime has been doing very well. It's sometimes coming in top 10 most viewed anime of the week. So the anime is definitely pushing it. And it is getting what it deserves. Because to be honest with you, Hunter Hunter is pretty freaking awesome. So it's just really shocking for Hunter Hunter to come on over Naruto. When the guy's been on hiatus for, you know, a long time again and he continues his hiatuses. So, props to Hunter Hunter. Number five over Naruto. That's pretty freaking crazy. Now, number four is something that I'm really proud of this manga for coming this far already. And that is Attack on Titan. Yes, it has invaded the top five with number four. It came in with 4.292 million sales. That is freaking tremendous for Attack on Titan. I don't even remember if it was in the top ten uh, any time last year or any time prior to this year. The anime definitely pushed this thing to the limits and beyond. I expect by the end of this year that Attack on Titan might possibly be in the top three 
or even top two. I'm just saying because sales of this doesn't stop. Every week, about five to ten of the volumes are selling 50k each. So if things keep going like that, we might have Attack on Titan in number one or number two position because it, it deserves it. I'm going to be real with you. It 100% deserves all the success it's been getting because it's a freaking amazing manga, incredible anime, and I I'm just really happy that Attack on Titan made it this far for a uh, dark shonen manga. That's freaking awesome. Coming in at number three, another surpriser because I wouldn't expect for something like this to come in this high is uh, a manga called... Kuroko no Basket or Kuroko's Basketball. That came in with 4.712 million copies. People in Japan are loving them some basketball. And it's a shame because, to be honest with you, the chances of Kuroko no Basket ever blowing up in the States is very slim, unfortunately, because, well, or outside of Japan, period, because most of the time, anime and manga fans, well, manga fans and, you know, otaku in general, don't really care for sports anime and sports manga. And it's a shame because some sports manga and some sports anime can be very enjoyable, very good. I've seen quite a bit in my time. Kuroko no Basket, I've only seen about a couple episodes, to be honest with you. And it was enjoyable from what I've seen, but I can't really give a judgment on it. But I'm, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Like, a top manga sale is not a battle manga. That's a basketball manga. So for it to do that, that's crazy. That, a sports manga coming in top three. That, that's crazy. I, I, that's all I can say about it. Now, number two, another shocker. This one shocked me probably the most. Coming in at number two for the first half of 2013. Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic. Magi, yes. That surprised the living shit out of me. I was like, what? Because Magi's not even a jump title. And normally, jump titles occupy like sometimes the top three, top five. So for the number two spot to be a non-jump title... Speaks volumes. Magi came in at number two with 4.787 million copies. That is crazy. Magi coming in number two, invading the top. is like, I'm sure the anime helped to push a lot of it, but it also raised awareness of it in general. It's not only running off hype because the anime has ended at this point. It just raised awareness. Like, there's this awesome battle manga. You guys might want to check it out. And I've been reading Magi at my own pace. I'm not trying to, you know, rush things. Maybe you might get some reviews in the future, but from what I've read thus far, Magi for the win. And number one, no shocker here, people. You, you guys know what it is. The big One Piece. That came out again, crushing the competition. 7.955 million copies. Crushing the competition. I mean, almost 8 mil. It's, it's One Piece. What the hell do you expect? They got everything One Piece over there in Japan. If you want a One Piece wallet, One Piece cell phone, One Piece anything, you can get it. So obviously, One Piece is going to dominate. No surprise there. Two of the surprises for me, personally, one is where the hell is Bleach? I mean, I know I don't got an anime to push it anymore, but that was a big shocker for me because Bleach has been on fire, and for it to not be in the top ten, damn. That, that's really a shocker. But another one, and no offense to the fans of this because I'm a big fan of Bleach, so, you know, I, I'm putting it out there as well that, you know, Bleach ain't make the top 10, but Toriko, all this hype that Toriko's been having, you know, crossover anime, uh, anime crossovers with One Piece, uh, anime crossover with One Piece and Dragon Ball Z, uh, crossovers with all sorts of manga inside of Jump, and it didn't even crack the top 10. So does that say something as far as, like, that people just prefer to rank it and don't buy it? Does that mean that it's just maybe Jump is over pushing something that people aren't really gravitating as quickly as they would? I, it, it just really makes you question, why isn't Toriko with getting a cosign to be with Dragon Ball Z? Why isn't that in the top 10? Bleach? Okay, you don't have an anime. The, the, pretty much as a franchise, Bleach is dead in Japan for the most part. You go to Japan... You ain't gonna see Bleach in your 7-Elevens. You'll see Toriko, you'll see One Piece, you'll see Naruto, you ain't gonna see Bleach. Bleach as a franchise is for the most part dead at the moment. Until the anime comes back, then we might see more. So Bleach is kinda understandable, but Toriko is hot right now. Apparently Toriko is in one of its best arcs yet at the moment. So I don't understand, maybe when those volumes that contain the chapters that have been coming out come out, maybe it'll do better, but... I was really shocked, and I saw the list of the individual volumes, and there was only, like, one Toriko volume at, like, number 43 on the list. So, I don't know what's going on with Toriko. Why isn't it selling more when it's getting all this push? That that just kind of shocked me right there. But, overall, 
This list shocked the living shit out of me. Magi number two, Attack on Titan number four, Basketball Manga number three with Kuroko no Basket. All of that really shocked the shit out of me. Fairy Tale still clinging on at number nine. It, it just really shows that like manga sales are unpredictable. Anything can happen. Let me know what you guys think, though. What was the biggest shocker for you? Was it Naruto only coming in at number 6? Hunter Hunter coming in at number 5 with no volumes released this year? Magi number 2? Obviously, I think nobody was surprised about One Piece. I mean, if you were surprised about One Piece, you don't have an inkling of how big it is in Japan. You, you don't. So, biggest surprise of this list, and now is the best time. Make your predictions based on this list and what's going on right now in manga. If you're a big manga follower, what do you think will be the list? at the end of the year of the best-selling manga. Who will make the top? Let me know. That That's an interesting one. So, predictions and the biggest shocker that you had so far of this list of the first half of 2013. There was a lot of big ones. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't even know. Maybe it was Magi. Maybe it was Naruto coming in at number six only. Maybe it was Fairy Tail still clinging on. I, don't, I, I can't call it. I'm just... The best one that I'm really happiest about is Attack on Titan. I'm really glad to see that manga flourish and get everything it deserves because it's a phenomenal manga. But that's all I have for this vid. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you can't wait to see how all this is going to turn out at the end of 2013. See where, what manga will rank. I think by the end of the year, Naruto will move up a bit. I think that is a possibility. Fairy Tale might be knocked out because I think like manga like um, Silver Spoon is going to keep going up and a, a couple different things. It just really depends on what's going to happen next few years. I think Attack on Titan will rise. I think for some reason that Magi might drop a couple spots by the end of the year. I definitely say One Piece is going to be number one. There's nothing beating One Piece. Let's, let's just cut it right there. Nothing's beating One Piece. And that's pretty much, maybe Hunter Hunter might drop a couple slots as well. But that's pretty much my predictions for the next, you know, the next upcoming one at the end of 2013. Again, that's all I have on Fnab World. And as always, people, have an awesome day.